Hi, I'm Erica. What's your name? Hi, Jill. Nice to meet you. Um, the first thing we're going to do is go over these two forms. Uh, the first one is your client rights. I'm going to read them off for you and then have you sign it. Uh, you have the right to a high standard of care and service. You have the right to be treated with courtesy, respect, and dignity. You have a right to be informed of all the services available to you. You have a right to review your records by submitting a written request to our administrator. You have the right to make suggestions and changes to your treatment plan. You have a right to discontinue or transfer services at any time. You have the right to receive care that is specific to your needs despite any physical limitations or language barriers. And you also have the right to report any concerns or problems to our administrator at this number. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Thank you. And the second one is the limits of confidentiality. Uh, I'm a mandated reporter, so if you tell me anything about a child being physically or sexually abused, or about a vulnerable adult being abused or neglected, or if you're at risk for harming yourself or somebody else, then I have to report that to my supervisor. Yeah. Any questions about that? No. Okay. Thank you. So what brings you into the counseling center today? I'm just having some problems at school. Um, I feel really overwhelmed about my classes and I don't really have anyone to hang out with. I feel really lonely, and I don't really know like what to do because I'm really homesick and don't want to be at college. So from what I'm hearing you say is that you're feeling overwhelmed and lonely mm -hmm. uh, since you've been here at college? Yeah. Um, when did this start? Um, I was okay freshman year, and then sophomore year got a little bad, and... So I still had a few friends, but then after sophomore year, like the summer, we stopped talking, and now we're back. And some of them trans, some of my friends transferred, so I don't really have any friends now. So you said some of your friends transferred. Mm -hmm. um, what happened with your other friends? Uh, uh, they didn't really, they didn't really feel like I fit in with them. They were always going out, like drinking and stuff, and I always wanted to stay in. And I would always ask everyone if they wanted to stay in, and no one ever wanted to, so then they started not including me in their plans. So, uh, you don't drink or smoke? No. Do anything like that? No, I used to in high school, but I don't anymore. Okay. Um, is, has this, like, overwhelming and loneliness been causing problems in your life other than, uh, your school? Um, just my classes. I haven't really been going to them because Sometimes being like in a group of people like oh also gives me some anxiety. So my classes are a little rough lately. Okay, so anxiety is definitely um, something that you're concerned about. You've been dealing with for yeah. a while now. Just a few months. Ever since I came back for junior year. Okay. Uh, have you asked your family for any help? Have you talked to them about what's going on? Uh yeah, I talked to my mom a little bit. She calls me like every day, so she's always asking me what's wrong if when I'm upset. But I don't want to worry her at home, so I don't talk to her about every little thing. So it seems like your mom's concerned about you. Mm -hmm. That can be a good thing. Um, how often do you talk or see your mom? Um, I <clears throat> I only see her like once a month, but she tries to call me every day, but sometimes I just don't answer because I don't want to tell her that I'm upset and worry her. Why do you feel, why don't you want to worry her or tell her about it? Because she's really overprotective, so I feel like she might make me go home, which I don't want to do, but I don't really want to stay here either. Okay. Um, so do you feel like you can go to your family for help? Or is there any other family members, like any siblings that you go to? Uh, yeah, I talk to my sister sometimes because she goes here too. but. She has her own friend group because she's older, and she's in the sorority, so I'm not usually invited to, like, the sorority events when they, like, hang out together. Okay. Well, what, is, what are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do? Um, I like to color and draw and play soccer. Okay. Have you thought about uh, playing soccer, getting on a soccer team here at Salisbury? I didn't make the team. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure there's other options, mm -hmm. uh, places you can go to play. Thank okay. you. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to ask you a few other questions about uh, your family and some other personal things. Is it okay if I take notes? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Um, do you have a history of any health issues, either physical or mental? No. Not at all? Okay. Just was, anxiety. Just anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, when was your last uh, checkup? Um, like a few months ago in the summer. So you said that uh, you like to play soccer. Uh, do you do any other physical activity, any hobbies? Um, I just go to the gym sometimes, or I just go for walks in the neighborhood. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any pets that you could go on walks with? I have a dog. What's your dog's name? Cody. Um, I like her. Yeah, I like dogs too. Um, how would you describe your mood on those days? Um, I'm usually pretty happy when I wake up, but then when I remember that I don't have anyone to hang out with, I get a little sad. And then class really annoys me. Why is class annoying you? I just don't like to listen to the professors tell me what to do. Okay. Um, what do you feel like some of your strengths are? Um, I think I'm really good at listening to others and writing. But I'm not in any writing classes, so I'm really bad at math, and I have three math classes. Okay. Um, well, I'm sure there's some ways that you could do, like creative writing mm -hmm. or something like that, maybe doing your spare time. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how do you feel your support system is? Do you have a good support system? Yeah, I do. I just think it's hard for them to support me because they're five hours away. Yeah, distance can make it kind of hard mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, let's see. How would you describe your interactions with others? Um, I can just like casually hang out with people, but I would I don't really have anyone who I would just like call to come over. But I talk to like people in my classes sometimes, but I don't like eat dinner with anyone. So you do talk to people in your classes? Yeah, the people who sit next to me. Have you made any friends um, that way? Um, just like class friends, but not like out of class friends. Okay. Uh, so how would you describe yourself? Like how do you feel about yourself? Um, I think I'm funny and smart in some subjects. Um, I think I can be really rude sometimes, and sometimes I don't know how to express my anger when people annoy me. So expressing your anger would be something that you'd like to work on, mm -hmm. as well as the anxiety that you're feeling. Yeah, I think I get annoyed really easily when like other people wouldn't get annoyed. What do you feel like you get annoyed about usually? What um, causes you to get annoyed? Sometimes when people are like intentionally rude to each other. That really annoys me, or um, if people are intentionally left out or talked about, or if people go out of their way to like annoy me, I get really. Okay, so would you say? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, would you say that you tend to overreact to some things yeah. when you're interacting with mm -hmm. people? Uh, do you think maybe that can cause some of the anxiety that you're? feeling? Do you think it's related? Yeah, maybe, because I sometimes get anxiety that, like, people are going to be judging me how I reacted, so then I just keep overthinking the situation and how I reacted. Okay. So then I'm like, oh, what do they think about me now after they saw me act like that? Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about, um, are, do you have a job? Are you employed anywhere? Yeah, I, I have a job. Where do you work? Uh, the Salisbury Christian School. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, are there people there around your age that you could maybe get together and do things with? Yeah, they have some church events, so I haven't gone to any. Why is that? I'm just not interested in what they're doing. Okay. And I don't like being at work when I don't have to be. Okay. Uh, did you say where you live uh, currently? Do you live on campus? No, I live in a house off campus. Okay. Do you have a roommate? Mm hmm like so. How do you get along with your room? Um, we're friendly, but we don't really hang out. We just everyone just does their own thing. Like no one's really friends with each other. 
Um, so have you tried addressing um, your feelings of over being overwhelmed and anxious in the past? Yeah, um, this happened, these feelings happened once in high school, so I talked to the counselor there, but since then I haven't really brought it up again. So you said you've been to counseling before? Mm -hmm. uh, how did you feel that went? Um, I think it went pretty well, but um, it didn't really change me. It just changed for like a second and then I go back to hell, yeah. Do you think it helped at all? Uh, yeah, a little, for a little bit. Okay, well sometimes it can take some time to find the right person mm -hmm. to talk to. Um, going, moving forward, how would you like to um, go about maybe dealing with some of these feelings you're having? Um, maybe just keep meeting and maybe I'll go to like, the activity fair or something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it was definitely a good stop coming in today. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you definitely want to help yourself and figure out some ways to control the feelings that you have when you're around others. Mm -hmm. You said that um, you were feeling overwhelmed, feeling anxious. Yeah. So those are some things that we can definitely work on in our sessions. Um, so do you think the session went well today? Mm -hmm. I think it definitely yeah, went well today. I enjoyed coming here. Mm -hmm. I think um, it was definitely brave of you to come in here and decide to talk about some of these things. Um, would you like to meet next week, maybe at the same time? Yep. Okay, I think that sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Well, I'll see you next Tuesday. Yep. Right. Thank you.